Dividing fractions. In this video, we are going to use the method of finding a common denominator to divide a fraction by a fraction. How do we find a common denominator? 3 fifths divided by 1 fourth. Currently, the denominators are 5 and 4. Some of you may already know what the common denominator is. Some may list out multiples. I'm going to use a different method. I'm going to take your multiplication chart and I'm going to look at the row for 5 and I'm going to look at the multiples for 4 and I'm going to find the multiple they have in common. The lower the better. In this case, it is 20. Once I find a common denominator, I can create equivalent fractions. To create an equivalent fraction, I will set up a proportion. This gives me my original fraction of 3 fifths and what I'm trying to get is a denominator of 20. The math that I would need to do here is multiply by 4. I multiply the denominator by 4, I will also multiply the numerator by 4 so that they stay equivalent. I will do the same steps for 1 fourth, but in this case I'm multiplying by 5. Same with the numerator, giving me 5. The equivalent fractions now are 12 twentieths and 5 twentieths with a common denominator of 20. So our new division problem is now 12 over 20 divided by 5 over 20. Here we are going to model 12 twentieths divided by 5 twentieths. You will see that we have shaded 12 out of 20 to show you how much is represented by 12 twentieths. Here we have 5 shaded out of 20. We're going to break this 5 out of 20 down into its 5 out of 5 piece because the question here is how many times can that 5 twentieths fit inside the 12 twentieths? Well, watch what happens. That 5 twentieths fits inside there one whole time. Oh, it fits in there another whole time. But looking at the last one, it doesn't fit completely, but we do have two shaded pieces out of the five we would need to complete another whole. So how many times can we repeat 5 twentieths inside 12 twentieths? Two times with two out of five left. That math looks like this. 12 divided by five over 20 divided by 20. We know 20 divided by 20 is one. We also know that when we divide a number by one, it's itself. So our answer is 12 over five. And then of course, once we have this improper fraction, we can change it into a mixed number. To change our improper fraction of 12 fifths into a mixed number, we're gonna set up a division problem of 12 divided by five. We can create two whole groups that will use 10 pieces. Then we will have two left over out of five, giving us two fifths. So our improper fraction of 12 fifths is equivalent to two and two fifths. Now that you've seen how to divide fractions using a common denominator, we are gonna look at two methods side by side calculated mathematically. You can choose which method you like better. When dividing fractions, which method is easier? Do we multiply it by the reciprocal or should we use a common denominator? In the problem, 2 thirds divided by 1 sixth, we're going to start by multiplying by the reciprocal. We often call this keep, change, flip because we keep the first fraction, we change division to multiplication, and then we use a reciprocal or the flip of the second fraction. After we've done that, we multiply the numerator, 2 times 6 is 12, and multiply the denominator, 3 times 1 is 3. That's an improper fraction, so we need to go ahead and do the division, 12 divided by 3. In this case, we get four holes with nothing remaining. For the common denominator, we look at 3 and 6. You should know that the least common denominator of 3 and 6 is 6. So in order for me to create an equivalent fraction, I have to multiply the numerator and the denominator by 2. This gives me 4 sixths. Then I divide that by 1 sixth. Looking at just the numerators, we have 4 divided by 1. The denominators show 6 divided by 6. This math gives us 4 over 1. And we know that any fraction with 1 as the denominator is a whole number. So both methods give us an answer of 4. You choose the one that's easiest for you.